can't. We've decided to get some snacks. You've decided. You decided? This was your idea. Yeah, no, right, I was going to say you decided to get that. No, I've decided we want this one. These cookies are The nice. Dan cake. They do look nice, but I want the Dan cake now. Hello. It's got nice icing on it. It looks a bit like a carrot cake. It is a carrot cake. It's got carrots on it. Dan cake, carrot cake. Fuck yeah. It's the one. It's what we need. What about like breakfast tomorrow morning? Are we gonna eat, we ain't gonna eat out three times a day, are we? Well, we don't have a kitchen. Yeah, there is a kitchen. Is it? It's a shared kitchen, but there is one. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was a massive earthquake. And again. Oh, Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Well, that would hurt. We need to get under a door frame. I'm not joking either, we actually need to get under a door frame. It's the only safe place. We're not safe here, we're in the middle. We're under this. We would have been crushed there. We're both just sitting there laughing about it. We could have actually been crushed. Come on, let's get this carrot cake and get out of here. We're fucking going to die in here otherwise. It's going off. Rainbow cookies. They do look nice. Nah, we stick with the cake. What do we what, what are we saying about breakfast? I don't know. Alright. We'll just keep it at this end. If we want to get breakfast tomorrow we get it. Mm -hmm. I swear it is. Right. Here we are. It's a guest house. They've actually upgraded us, apparently to a room with a private bathroom. So let's go check it out. Fucking <laughs> hell, not bad, is it? Oh, single beds. Oh, I love single beds. Nat doesn't love single beds. I love, I love single beds. Fuck that, no, 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 no. Can't, there's a little dressing table in the way. Oh, I love sleeping on a single bed. I always sleep so good. This is fucking sweet ass. 85 quid for a night. They did upgrade us. This room's usually, what, 100 quid? Yeah. Maybe I won't sleep very well with the fucking mirrors rattling about all night from earthquakes. It's good, mate. I'm happy with this. Good find Natalia again, as always. Yes, well done, that. My log cabin would have been cool as well though. No, the log cabin would have been cold and the bathroom was probably outside. It would have been cozy. Cold and bathroom outside. They upgraded us, that's nice. This is sick. So hopefully the earthquakes don't wake me up. I already feel a bit like mm. when you've been in when you've been on a roller coaster all day or something. Yeah. It feels a bit like that. Anyway, time to have a wash, eat some Dan cake. Ah, oh, let's try the cake now. Here we have it, the Dan cake. Oh, it smells glorious. How am I going to eat it? With your mouth. It's well nice. Carrot cake, you can't beat it. Well, perfect end to a perfect day. Everything went smoothly today. Even the earthquakes. <laughs> All right, it's midnight. We've just been woken up by the owner, by another guest. We have to evacuate. And we're not going to a nice bed either, we're going to a sports center. Yeah. Like I was gonna chunk it everywhere. Alright, well, Cecil packed up. Off to the homeless shelter. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Are what great timing. Did you see your ball? Because we can't to stay. No. And we're not gonna be able to leave. We are. And what? A rubber dinghy? Oh. 
Is How are we going to leave the country? In... <sighs> Might be a long weekend. Fucking hell. Right, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, yes, so my English number is plus four four. Seven four nine. Uh, I want to go to the same places where Natalia is going. Selfos. Selfos. Okay. Lovely, thanks. I don't know if there's everyone. Mm. Oh, wow. To call them up, register your details. I've just looked as well, there's no accommodation in Selfos and this we want to pay for in Panama. Okay. We're not going there to. I thought we were going to evacuation. Okay, yeah. We don't have to. We can go to a hotel there, but there isn't any on Booking.com. Hmm. Because I was thinking we can just go to a hotel, but um, uh, okay. there isn't any. There's no hotels. <laughs> well, it's almost midnight, isn't it? We're not really going to be taking people in now, anyway. No, I guess not. Well, that's probably why there's so little choice. Is it a school? Well, it's, it's just an option. It's, it? Yeah, it's a school. Oh, that's a school. We're going to a school. We're going to sleep on the floor. There's, yeah. It's just a room that they've cleared out for like as a safe space. Got to sleep on the floor. Uh, yes, it's a uh, William Skilling. <sighs> All right. Well, should we? Should we go? Yeah. Yeah. Find yeah, the number at Gmail. I'll get that. Let's go. <laughs> All right. We've now got to drive about an hour and ten, hour and ten minutes? Yeah. Hour and ten minutes to this school. We've got to go along the route that one of the other guys, one of the other travellers, drove down yesterday and their car got hit by a boulder coming off the mountain. So it's going to be treacherous. Nah, we'll be all right. Because <laughs> two cars won't get hit. Oh, God. Oh. All right, let's go. It's a bit eerie really, isn't it? We're looking for the toilets. They told me they were down here. Nah. Well, this is a fucking experience, isn't it? This looks like it might be toilets. Open toilets. Open doors. In fact, there's no doors on the toilets. And there's no, um, no gender by the looks of it. Interesting. All right, so this place is managed by the Red Cross, obviously. We've got a bed for the night. There's tea, coffee over there. They said that in the morning they'll probably have some food for us, so. What an eventful evening. Apparently, that was a mandatory evacuation, emergency evacuation, because there's a magma tunnel that's formed below that town that we were in. Hopefully, it doesn't erupt, and I don't even know how it works, mate, to be honest. I've just, we just read this stuff online, and they're saying that it's a mandatory evacuation. That's why we saw so many police around the town on the way out, because they're, they're getting people out of their houses. <sighs> yeah, it's mad. What an experience. Fucking hell. <sighs> it's, it's obviously easy for me to say, what an experience. Like, it's fun, it's an adventure, but some people's houses and you know, their whole livelihoods are there. <clears throat> so it's quite... Um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't go off and this is just, you know, precaution. Uh, but yeah, they had a couple of uh, earthquakes that were over six in magnitude. And they're the ones that we felt just before we went to sleep. And I thought these are getting worse and worse and worse. So yeah, let's see what tomorrow brings.
here we are. This was, this is home for the night. There are some other people in here. There's a little dog in here as well. Yeah, I think these people could potentially lose their homes. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're just tourists. We're just here for the, for the bed, but there's a lot of people here that could potentially lose their homes over this. And it's, uh, it's actually quite serious, isn't it, really? Yeah, for these people. Pets yeah, there's like, there's somebody with a parrot out there and all sorts, it's, it's yeah, it's mad. They, they evacuated the whole town last night. Um, emergency, emergency evacuation. They gave everyone two to three hours to get out of your homes. So yeah, as we were driving through, on the way out of the, out of the town, there was police all over the over the town with their lights on. No, no noise, but just the lights on. Um, must have just been going around making sure everyone's getting out. It was mad. We, we, the, the earthquakes were getting considerably worse throughout the afternoon and through into, into the evening. There was a couple that like literally made the wardrobe move around. The whole bed was like, side to side. And yeah, we were we were very close to where the, where the earthquakes were happening. And yeah, it seems like there's a magma tunnel formed underneath that town. And yeah, potentially with the earthquakes moving it all around, it could blow. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's actually pretty serious. We, we went to bed sort of giggling about the earthquakes, not really appreciating how dangerous the situation could be. Well, they've also, I've read this morning, they've built a tunnel around the Blue Lagoon, so it's going to be even more dangerous. The volcano could potentially ruin that wonder of the world. Oh, really? Yeah. So they've not only closed the Blue Lagoon, they've dug a, a, um, a moat around it for the lava. If it does go, then it won't destroy that wonder of the world. And that's, that's obviously a massive tourist destination for, the, for, um, for Iceland. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come here and go there. It's like one of the wonders of the world, apparently. Um, yeah, so imagine if it destroyed that. But you, you can see the sort of the damage the lava can do. Like it spreads out over such a large like area, doesn't it? Yeah. It's mad. Uh, yeah, so as I say, all right for us, we're just tourists. We're, we're, we're just here for a bed and then we, when we can just go. We haven't got any of our stuff there. But all the, for all these other people who are here, it's like last night, the, the dog kept barking and waking me up and, I, uh, and I, when I first woke up I was like for fuck's sake and then I just realised like you know this these people are potentially losing their home here it's not their fault they don't want to be here yeah do you know what I mean mm -hmm. I was like nah I, let the dog bark <laughs> it's the least of their worries it's definitely the least of mine um, yeah it's pretty fucking serious man I can't believe how quickly this all blew up before we came here, the, it said like, oh, the British government are not advising against travel to uh, Iceland. They're saying that uh, uh, eruptions extremely unlikely and all this stuff. And then we get here and the ground starts shaking every 10 minutes. Yeah, it's been mad. What an experience from our point of view. Mm. Uh, hopefully it doesn't erupt and hopefully the town's all right. Because that's quite a nice little fishing town, isn't it? It's pretty cool there. I got them some like, the food we had there last night. It was good. Papa's restaurant, if you do go there and it's still there, give that place a go, mate. That fish and chips in there is banging. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna just keep heading east now, go as far away from it all as possible. Well, we have to go back to the airport, it's right near the airport, isn't it? Yeah. So we can even fly out, we don't even know what's gonna happen yet. But we're just gonna make the most of it while we're here. Um, yeah, what a crazy night. Got woken up at midnight. Knock on the door, bang bang. You need to get out now. It's mad. Proper wasn't expecting this. Mm -mm. Anyway, let's see what today brings.